Yo, hey everybody. Uh, so in this video, I'm gonna uh, kind of do a basic run through on uh, the mystery, I guess, of the compression plug that you're gonna find in a typical modern day carbon fiber fork. Uh, so basically what this thing is, is it's a way to fix a point within the steer tube uh, so you can actually adjust the headset. Um, there's you know a couple different uh, fixtures that can go inside of a steer tube. I'm going to go ahead and just disassemble this uh, so we can kind of get a look in here. But you know as you can see, there's some torque specs, four newton meter max on this uh, top bolt here that kind of your adjusting bolt. Uh, so I've got basically the bolt, we've got our top cap, and then I've got one five millimeter spacer here. <clears throat> so if we get that part off, um, you can see this little black ring here that says nine to 10 Newton meters. And there's basically a little bolt right here that looks like it's got a, maybe a six, six millimeter. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do first though, before I get too far into this, I'm gonna go ahead and undo our stem. I like to alternate back and forth so we don't stress out the stem there. So at this point, you know, the handlebar and the wheel are loose. I could just pull this stem right off of here if I wanted to. Go ahead and do that just for just to do it. So this is our, they call the compression plug. Uh, so as we break that bolt loose here, this thing will come out now. And so, yeah, like I say, this is basically the purpose of this. What it is, is a, it fixes inside the, the steer tube there to give you a point to, as you tighten the stem down, it adjusts the headset bearings and everything. So. Um, that, that's basically why it exists. Uh, so how does it work? It's you basically, so this is where some of the confusion can come in. There are a few different types. This one has a, like a little flange on the top. So it is going to fit, you know, right up against the top of the steer tube. Some of these, the top cap, um, may fit down into the steer tube a bit. And then this piece is just, there's no flange it's going to fit down in there as well. So there, there's a few uh, issues that can arise with really both of these. But anyway, you got this threaded section here. It's threaded. It's a hollow bolt. It's actually threaded inside as well. So if you look, there's a, you, know, you got some kind of convex and concaved surfaces. Same with this one. It's threaded. And as we I can get this just towards touching, you know, just towards kind of all in one unit. It'll fit down in there inside of the steer tube. But as you tighten this bolt, as it pulls this together, that's where they call the compression. As this compresses, this silver piece here that has the knurling on it, it expands. And so that fixes it inside of the carbon fiber steer tube. So, um, that seems all simple enough. I think most mechanics feel like they can, you know, have a pretty good grasp on that. But I still see lots of little mistakes that occur with this. Um, first mistake that may occur is that you're either, you know, when you get your you get your stem on here, you get everything together, and as you can see, this one it may be hard to see, but this top cap is extending beyond the top of the stem. Uh, you know, a couple millimeters there. So that's why there was a five millimeter spacer on top of there. So you could, you know, you can run it with the spacer on top, however much you want, depending on the length of your steer tube. I could take the same spacer and put it down below. Uh, get that all together. And you can see how it's just you know, there's probably a two to three millimeter gap 
where this is below the top side of the, the stem itself. So you got to have that gap if this, you know, any part of the top of this or the bottom of this, the top cap there is in contact with this, it's just going to bottom out with that and it's, you're not going to get, you know, if it bottoms out before the headset is fully compressed and adjusted, you're going to have some play within your bearings and you're not going to get the headset um, adjusted. So that's number one. You got to have that little bit of a depth in here or a spacer on top to create that depth. It's, it just depends on where you, the positioning where you want your stem. Um, so the second potential issue is that if this, uh, you know, the compression plug, if it's not quite tight, that thing migrates its way up, uh, it can bottom out against this top cap as well and cause the same issues. And I've got a couple examples where I found you know, where that happened. So we've got, once again, the dreaded uh, compression plug dilemma. We can't get the headset tight. And so we got our bolt here that's stuck into our bolt that activates the compression plug. So this is, it's like tight. I can't, so we're going to put this in the soft jaws. This happens all the time. So this guy here just got tightened and bottomed out against the top of our bolt. So we're going to kind of pre-assemble this thing. We got our, this is on a Specialized, I think? Is this a Specialized? It's uh, North Rock. Oh, yeah. It's got Fuji parts that are crazy. Yeah, so we got a little wedge part here. Looks like we got a little shim piece. Uh, you got our little convex ends. That's going to go in there. That's going to go into that. So at this point, we can drop this down into the steer tube. Looks like a six millimeter hex key. Tighten that, fix it into place, and ideally our stem is going to be slightly above this, so that way this doesn't bottom out against that. So I've got a couple other examples here. Um, this particular example, the, the top cap or the preload cap isn't bottomed out per se. This one just came off a really sweaty uh tri bike i guess or bike that had gotten used on the trainer quite a bit and sweat on so basically what had happened here is that you know you can see i'm turning the what seems like the top cap the preload bolt but it's actually seized into the compression plug bolt so i i can't even turn it by hand so again i'd put this one in the in the old soft jaws to break it loose um you know really in this uh, everything was assembled correctly, but in the case of this particular one, we're getting the same effect of you turn the, the preload bolt and it just turns the compression bolt there. So uh, basically what I did here is just cleaned everything up, sort of. Um, got the corrosion off the moving parts, I guess, and uh, greased up the, uh, the compression bolt there where that part's threaded on, and then inside there where it's threaded were our the preload cap bolt would go put some grease on there so you know you can see that bike's pretty pretty nasty uh, got a lot of salty sweat residue uh, so you know, in the case of this one just clean your bike you, know, you probably want to overhaul that headset every few months or sooner the more you're sweating on it so that's the first case there this one this one's not a Cannondale it's similar where the the, the top cap or the preload cap, whatever you want to call it there, extends down into the steer tube for a bit. And, you know, this one, the compression portion, which is that top silver piece, is just, it got bottomed out to the, uh, between the, the preload cap and the top cap of the uh, expansion plug there. So, uh, just kind of doing the same thing. Got the, the bolt, the soft aluminum. Uh, expansion bolt there is locked into the soft jaws and then you can as we're taking this part out um, top preload cap and the bolt it just was bottomed out to that top piece so in this case you would want to put your expansion plug down into the steer tube deep enough to where there's a gap between the top of that 
silver piece with the, uh, I think that's a 8 millimeter hex bolt in this case, or a hex key would fit into that, and you just want to gap between that and the black piece there. See I've got it pretty deep down in there, you want to just make sure that there's a gap. Again, we tightened our compression plug, we're tightening our, you know, 4 newton meters max. One way you can kind of test, I usually just tighten this to where I can't move these spacers. If you can move the spacers under here, then it's a little too loose. Um, so yeah, at that point we just line it up, you know, line the stem up with the, uh, you know, again, this isn't really a, a headset adjustment video. I've got quite a few of those. This is going to be more of a, just how this, the actual compression plug works. Um, you know, and it is different than a, like a star fangled nut that you would find in aluminum or steel steer tube. So, yeah, got a nice adjusted headset. We're good to go.